This is the Tales of Hoffman, or in French, Les Contes d'Hoffman, the Tales of Hoffman, and it's a loosely based biography of the real poet and playwright E.T.A. Hoffman, who wrote also a series of really fantastical short stories about magical things and about men falling in love with mechanical dolls and with doomed singers and with courtesans. And what Offenbach and his librettists did was take these stories three in particular, and then weave a story around them. And the story is, of course, about the poet Hoffman, who is uh, pretty much an alcoholic by the time we first see him. And he's very depressed about the fact that all of his loves seem to go wrong. And he's telling these stories to a group of students who, that he hangs out with at the local Ratzkeller, or the, the beer cellar uh, in Germany where this takes place. And he dreams, basically, about the stories of these three loves. But we get to see them one act per love. Hoffman encounters a villain in every scene. We have a Dr. Coppelius who sells funky eyeglasses and has a magnificent cape and wears goggles and has this Mad Hatter hat. And you have one of the mechanical dolls who is uh, walking around and doing all sorts of errands for people. All of the chorus are supposed to be also mechanical dolls who are uh, worked on with the machine. Then we get into the Antonia act and even though, once again, it's more natural, her father's wearing this sort of pink suit and it's just, you're never quite sure if it's her schizophrenic vision or, and we've tried to do a lot with the lighting in terms of looking at things so that it's never quite settled. Uh, then in the third act, we go to Venice and we have lots of girls in very slinky outfits and um, it's a very sensual act because uh, Julietta the courtesan, of course, is trying to seduce Hoffman into losing his soul, and the music changes a great deal. It's very warm, and the famous bark roll is from that act that most people will recognize.